Have you found yourself wondering what happened to that guy from Cruel Intentions? Well, you're probably not alone. At one time, Ryan Phillippe was everywhere. He was a rising acting talent and definite heartthrob who was one half of a beloved Hollywood power couple. But then we found ourselves seeing less and less of him on the big screen. For that to happen to an actor who was once red hot is kind of surprising. So why exactly is Ryan Phillippe anything but a Hollywood staple these days? Box Office Blues Although Ryan Phillippe was hot stuff in the 90s, these days he's not exactly a top box office draw. He was part of an all-star cast in Crash, a movie that far exceeded its estimated $6.5 million budget by earning over $54 million at the domestic box office. However, movie projects that relied on Phillippe as the lead or co-star haven't performed nearly as well. Antitrust, Stop Loss, Flags of Our Fathers, and the SNL comedy MacGruber were all commercial failures. And once an actor earns the label of box office poison, it can be very hard to land promising movie roles. I think a plan is just a list of things that don't happen. Power Couple Parting just as Ryan Phillippe's acting career was cooling off, the career of then-wife Reese Witherspoon was starting to heat up. At about the same time Phillippe appeared in Crash, Witherspoon was collecting an Academy Award for her role as June Carter in Walk the Line. The fact that Witherspoon's career was doing considerably well while Phillippe's was beginning to stall might not have mattered too much to the public, at least while they were together. Unfortunately for Phillippe, once he and Witherspoon called it quits, the public's interest in both him and his movies seemed to also fade. TV Toss-Up you may not know it, but Ryan Phillippe's acting career has its roots in television. He started off in the role of Billy Douglas on the ABC soap opera One Life to Live. He later had minor roles on other TV shows like Matlock and Due South. And after his big screen career started to become a bummer, he made his true return to the tube via a 2012 starring role in the FX series Damages. In the years since, he's mainly stuck to TV roles with mixed success. His appearance in the first season of ABC's crime drama Secrets and Lies was moderately successful, but his character did not return for the second season. Then his USA Network series Shooter received multiple premiere delays due to real-life tragedies that mirrored the storyline. But fortunately for Philippi's career prospects, it was renewed for a second season. Personal Struggles what many fans of Ryan Phillippe may not realize is that the Hollywood hunk has struggled with depression. He told Elle magazine that he's grappled with the issue since childhood and that time has only made his suffering worse. As you get older, I think it decreases some, but I'm just innately kind of a sad person. I'm empathetic and I take on the feelings of others and transpose myself into the position of others. While he admitted he found some advantages to being so sensitive, he also shared it also took a toll on his quality of life. Philanthropy Priority it's also possible that one of the reasons Ryan Phillippe isn't too preoccupied with Hollywood success is because he realized there are more important things in life, like lending a hand to those in need. Phillippe admitted that during his work on the film The Bang Bang Club in South Africa, he got an up-close look at the poor quality of life of the children there, which inspired him to get involved in Africa-based charities. Phillippe is also an ambassador for The Innocence Project, an organization dedicated to using DNA evidence to exonerate the wrongfully convicted. Behind the Lens in addition to acting, Philippi has also shown an interest in getting behind the scenes with the show business work. Even outside the club, I was always working it. He wrote, directed, and starred in the film Catch Hell, which saw him play the role of a washed-up Hollywood actor. Even if it's just Philippi poking fun at his less-than-stellar movie career prospects, it showed that he had the ability to put his own time and money into film projects. He's also worked in producer roles for some of his shows, including Secrets and Lies and Shooter, which means he may be ready to diversify his Hollywood portfolio even more in the years to come. Time to return. Television has proved a strong comeback vehicle for many Hollywood stars that have fallen out of the spotlight, and Ryan Phillippe's starring role in several series is certainly helping to re-energize his public profile. He's also found a place for himself on the other side of the filmmaking lens before, so he clearly has the ability to make his own movies, even when acting roles aren't falling in his lap anymore. People sometimes, if they fear rejection, they want to be the ones to reject first. Prejection. Prejection, yes. Did we just make that up? <laughs> we just up? made that up. In the meantime, he'll also be seen on the big screen in the summer of 2017 in the thriller pick Wish Upon, which is being directed by Annabelle's John Leonetti. As Philippi himself once put it, I'm doing stuff. It may not be stuff that you see, but I'm doing stuff. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.